How would you like to own your own home, mortgage and rent free? Well, with a tiny house, this is actually relatively easy. Today, I will begin to discuss the process in achieving such a dream. Basically, you can start with sourcing your own agricultural land. This land actually is usually low on restrictions. And on top of that, the property taxes are lower, which makes it more affordable and easier to maintain. In addition to that, the permits required to, uh, to obtain certain land of this nature makes it very relatively easy to build your own home. Having said that, basically you can look into starting your foundation. With your foundation, you'll have the ability to construct your home as you wish. And it also makes it easier for the construction to commence accordingly. While in building your foundation, you also have the option of starting your well. Uh, a well will indicate that you can source your own water supply, which, of course, you need water for the home and also can be utilized for fertilization of any land or crops that you may decide to work with in addition to building your home. But uh, having said that, the foundation, once set, you can then int introduce what is called ICF. ICF are insulated concrete forms. It's essentially like a Lego system of building blocks for your home. Look, having, When you look into the construction of these concrete forms, it's essentially, a, the best way to describe it is like an Oreo sandwich. The outer layers of your sandwich are like basically styrofoam with rebar holding them together. What is going to be the filling, per se, of your concrete form is actually concrete. Uh, it will be poured in at a high rate, usually around 3,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, which will make then make the sandwich complete of your blocks and also then becomes the internal framework of your house. Now, these forms are roughly depending, depending on the manufacturer that you typically you will use. They're around 18 inches thick, which then becomes a very well solid wall structure and also will indicate a wonderful barrier of insulation for your home. And these blocks are very, very simple. They're very, very affordable. The, the blocks themselves can be assembled by a team of a crew, even as, as low as four people, within a day. If, if the average home square footage on a tiny house is roughly about 600 square feet or less, you can build an entire four-wall structure within a day. And it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, once the walls are completed you can then what we can then look at the roof structure you can construct a roof out of anything you like uh, since you're dealing with a tiny house of 600 square feet or less your roof in, in, in the roof actually will be very very simple very very small at this point if you'd like to go ahead and, and, and implement solar solar onto the roof you're more than welcome to do that uh, or you can also look at uh, the land around you and consider a solar farm or wind turbines. I pr would prefer that uh, you look at the roofing as an option because then it's less obtrusive and it's out of the way and it will always be you know, being higher up as opposed to on land itself at the ground level will give you better sunlight uh, intrusion. Once you get that situated there, you can then look at the plumbing and get your plumbing after your well is, dead, is dug or you've decided to dig your well, put your well in, add your plumbing, now you have water supply for the home. On top of that, you can also add the battery backup if you need to, such as a Tesla power wall for your electrical system for the home, which is connected uh, with your solar. And by adding what's called a grid tie in the mix of that, basically what will happen is you will re be sending power actually back to the utility company once your solar system reaches 100% efficiency, which is wonderful because basically you have no power bill. Plumbing is done, then you can go into the interior of the home and set that up as you like. Uh, 
LED lighting, which is very efficient. It uses no, almost no power. They last up to 22 years. Wonderful way to install and light the home, either inside or outside. At this point, you can also choose the appliance that you'd like to use. They can be small, they can be large. It's really your preference. Uh, I prefer to be looking at micro appliances because they use less power. And uh, they're also physically smaller, so they'll fit in the home, which you are going to have tight quarters in the home itself. And in addition to that, you have your combo washer and dryers. You have a what's called a composting toilet that uses no water. With the waste that you produce, it can then be utilized as fertilizer for any crops that you may grow, such as vegetables or fruits. And then you're basically going to be self-sufficient in that, in that regard. Uh, having said that, the cost of a tiny home is very, very low. And you will be able to basically own a home and a piece of land pretty much mortgage and rent-free with the exception of very low property taxes and that's a wonderful way of living and allow you to actually create more things that you may want to do within your lifestyle and it's a satisfaction of owning a home as well it makes it simple for you and uh, this will conclude our speech here today and I thank you and good day